This video is gonna be about a free website that I think teachers should have in their lesson plans or in their station rotations. It's called Interactive Sites for Education. To get there, you just type in interactivesites.weebly.com. This site has combined a lot of sites for math, reading, science, and social studies. And all the students have to do is click on the subject that they want to learn more about and it will provide them with websites to practice on. Interactivesites.weebly.com It's great for kindergarten through fifth grade, maybe even sixth and seventh grade. It has all the subject matter that you're looking for. So let's take a look at the math. They've got mixed operations, algebra, coordinates, estimation, multiplication, time, tangrams, money. If you're looking for something for your students to continue to practice and worksheets are just not cutting it, have a look at this. Now again, you're not going to create an account so the downside of this is you're not going to be able to track or get data from it. But the upside is there's so many different websites, interactive websites. If you use this site as a station of maybe five or six devices, make sure you observe this area more during your station walkthrough. Within math, there's so many topics. Well, let's say we're doing a lesson on addition. Well, this site has a number of other websites. There are just tons of different sites that work on addition. And this website compiles all that nicely in just one tab. And students can click on these and it'll work. So let's look at this dinosaur one. I'm going to click on that. Dinosaur Dentist. Press the top of my head to open. 10 plus 9. What's the double? Now take out the bad tooth. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Take out the bad tooth. Is it 21, 24, or 19? The Dinosaur Moonwalk. Gotta love it. They can easily just go up to this tab and there's a little X, it'll close it and it'll bring them right back to Interactive Sites Weebly Edition. Language Arts. Science. I use this quite a bit for my stations. Social Studies. Everything you need for students to practice what you just taught. So that was Interactive Sites for Education. Now I hope you got a lot from that video. Remember, you can't create an account, but students are able to practice on just about any concept or subject matter you want. And I hope that if you are using stations or rotations, that this could be a great addition to your current lesson plans. Thanks for watching. See you next time.